as you make your way down this path and further into the garden, I want you to look around. Tell me if there's anything that you notice or anything that stands out to you in this place. It's like a flagstone path. Large trees on both sides. And then it turns into a dirt path. Allow yourself to continue down that dirt path. Let's see where it takes you. Where does that dirt path lead? It's kind of winding down. It's getting darker down to a river. Mm. Tell me about that river as you look at it. It's not very wide. It's flowing to the left. Clear water. What else do you notice in this place? What stands out to you? Just the large trees. How do you feel when you look at these trees? They're really old. And so in this place, with this river, on these large trees, do you feel as though you have a body? Yes. And do you feel male or female in this body? Male. How old do you feel? Do you get a sense of an age? Uh, like in my 20s. Very good. And as you focus on yourself and what you look like, tell me a little bit about what you're wearing on your body. Bare feet. I like brown clothes. Kind of a pointy hat or like a Robin Hood hat. Mm -hmm. What does your hair look like? What color is your hair? Brown. Is it short or long? Uh, I think it's long. And as you scan down your body and you notice your hands, does it feel like you're carrying anything in your hands? It kind of feels like I'm carrying a bow. Mm -hmm. With uh, an arrows on my back. Very good. Very good. And so as you bring your attention back to the scene around you, you're there in this area with these big trees and this river there with your bow and your arrows tell me what it feels like that you're doing there in this place I'm protecting something and as you connect even more deeply with your inner knowing your ability to know exactly what you're doing there in the scene. Tell me what it is that you feel like you're protecting. Kind of protecting the, the place, like the, the area. I don't feel like there's any other people around. Feels like it's just you there. Yeah. Does this feel like a place where you live? Or do you get a sense of where this place is? I think I live there. I think I live in the trees. And so as you bring your awareness, just allow it to pull back just a little bit. See if you notice if there's anyone else in this place with you. I think it's just me. Just you. Very good. So as you are protecting this place where you live, Tell me what it is that you are protecting it from. Dark energy. 
Tell me about that dark energy. It's trying to kind of move, move in through the area. It's almost like a dark fog. I'm trying to stop it from progressing through. But I don't think I'm able to stop it. Hmm. This dark energy or this dark fog that's moving in, how is it that you're aware of this energy? I just feel it. I just know what's there. And do you have an awareness of what this dark energy may do or what it's there for? I just feel like it's trying to take a peaceful place and, and not, and not, not make it peaceful, make it fearful. Mm -hmm. And so tell me what happens as this dark energy begins to move in. Tell me what you do next. I kind of feel like I just give up once it's kind of taken over. How is it that it, it comes in? What is it? What is it, it feels doing? Like, a, like a fog rolling in. Mm hmm like a dark fog. And how do you feel or how does it affect you as it comes in? Just kind of like give up and not try to fight it anymore once it rolls in. And so as this energy comes in and you decide to give up, tell me what happens to you. How does your life change? Just kind of feel like that that's the end just tired and just let it overtake me and so do you end up leaving the earth after that do you end up passing or do you just live with this dark energy i feel like i pass so let's go to the end of this life just going all the way to the end of this life taking your last breath and allowing your soul to just disconnect from that body, just disconnecting from that body. And as your soul comes up and out of that body, tell me what you see as you look back over that last scene. Just see my body beside the river, beside the big trees, and the dark fog all around. And so... As you can now look back over that life, what was the purpose or the reason that you experienced that life? To feel the connection with the nature. To feel the connection in the trees. And then the devastation to, to lose all that to this dark energy. And what were some of the lessons that you needed to learn in that life? To not give up, to not try to do things alone. And so- To know that I had the power that I could, I could have stopped, could have maybe stopped the, the dark energy. Very good. And in this state, in what ways could you have stopped that dark energy? What could you have done? To not let my light go out, to use my light. In what ways could you have used your light to help? To ex expand it out, to not just use it to protect myself, but to spread it out, expand it. Very good. And so as we look at this life and some of the challenges that you faced, how is this life connected to your current life? Are you repeating any of these same patterns or experiencing anything connected to this life? I'm trying, trying to go it alone again. Not, not sharing my light. But I am powerful. If I just allow it. So what do you need to know or understand about trying to do it by yourself in this life. What do you need to know this time around? To let people in, to trust, trust other people. We're more, more powerful together than, than alone. And 
if you trust more people and let more in, how will that affect your life in this lifetime? What will you experience? It'll be more, more fulfilling, more love. I live, live too, too guarded now. Mm. Why is it that you live so guarded? What's creating that? I feel like I need to protect, protect myself. What is it that you feel inside may happen if you don't protect yourself? Be vulnerable. Feel the pain of others. What do you need to understand about being vulnerable? What's important to know? It's okay to be vulnerable. Still protected anyways. It's really nothing that can hurt me because I am powerful, more, more powerful than I realize. Mm -hmm. What is it that you need to understand about how powerful you are? Tell me what comes through. I'm here to help. Help the earth, help, help all the people. Just have to let people in. What are some of the ways that you can begin to let people in a little bit more? What are some of the things that you need to know about that? Just be open. Not afraid to speak my truth. Don't worry what, what other people think. Stop trying to fit in. And so you said that you're here to help and to help other people. What are some of the ways in which you can do that more? Spread, spread my light. Can maybe help, help heal people. I feel like a lot of energy flows from my hands. Mm -hmm. You feeling that now? Yeah. You're receiving some hand activations. That's beautiful. So while you're receiving those hand activations, what can the guides and your higher self share with us about ways that you can use your healing abilities to help others? Tell me what comes through. Just, just by being around more people. I don't really have to do anything. A lot of energy flows through me into the earth, the Gaia. Yes. Kind of like an antenna that anchors, anchors it in. And so does that just happen naturally or is there any, anything that you need to do to bring more energy in? I think it just happens naturally. It's just a matter of allowing it to happen. What can you do or what do you need to know in order to allow more of that energy to flow through naturally? Just to not be as busy, be more in nature. Slow down. Very good. Very good. So just bringing your attention back to your soul that's now disconnected from that lifetime. Tell me if there's anything else that's important about that life that you need to know. No, I'm not getting anything else. Very good. Well, let's allow yourself to move forward to the next important place. After you drift away from that body, your soul begins to move forward to the next part of your journey. Tell me where you go next or what you do. Where does your soul go after that lifetime? I feel like I'm like a warrior in the battle. But it's not really, it's more of like battling like beasts or demons or something. Tell me more about that. What are these demons or these beasts that you're battling? It's related to the dark energy from before. 
It's like it created them. You feel like you created those demons? No, I think it's from the dark energy that okay. moved in. I see. So take a look at yourself for just a moment. Tell me if you feel male or female in this scene. Male. Mm -hmm. About how old do you think you feel? 40s. Tell me what you're wearing on your body as you look at it. What kind of clothes or things on your it's body? It's like an armor. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. It's like made of, like it's like a silver armor. Like a silver sword. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing on your feet? Like armored boots. What about your head? What do you notice there? That's yeah, like an armored helmet. Tell me about your facial features. Do they look very similar to human or do they look different at all? Pretty similar to human, long beard. And so if you scan down to your hands, do you feel like you're carrying anything in your hands? A sword. Mm -hmm. Bringing your attention back to the scene around you. Tell me what you see or what you notice in this place. It's like a grassy hill. Not many trees, it's pretty, pretty barren. I feel like there's there's a lot of us there. There's a lot of these beasts or whatever they are. Mm -hmm. And so you're there with a lot of others that are like you. Are you all there to fight these beasts and demons? Yes. Tell me where this place feels like. Do you get a sense of where you are? Feels like it's earth. Feels like it's Earth. And so tell me what happens in this battle. What do you see or what do you do? I feel like we defeat them in this battle, but we don't eliminate them. A lot of us are killed. What are these beasts trying to do? What are they there for? It just feels like they're the dark. We're battling for the light. Feels like it's a battle that's gone on for a long time. It feels like it's never ending. We, we win one battle and then there's, there's always another one. Does this battle feel like it's taking place on the physical earth plane or does it feel like it may be in a different realm or a different dimension? Do you get a sense of that? Feels like maybe another realm. It's physical, but. Would this be taking place in the astral plane? Do you get a sense of that? It's like an astral battle or is this something else? No, it feels physical. Okay. I don't think it's astral. And so do you feel like this battle is connected in any way to this time that we're in? Or is it just another battle with the darkness that we've always been in? I think it all connects to now. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it's the same battle as now. So tell me what happens in those battles. You said... It feels never ending. It feels like you win one battle and then it starts all over. Tell me more about that. What do you experience? It feels like eventually we, we defeat them all. Mm -hmm. Or we think we defeat them all. But it takes many years. And once these beings are defeated, tell me what happens next. What happens after that? Feels like I just kind of go off into by myself, like live in a like a cabin somewhere. Mm -hmm. How have all those battles affected you? 
tired. Exhausted, really. Mm. Just never had any peace. I knew that the battles were over, but I knew it wasn't done. So does this feel like a time period before the time that we're in now? Does it feel like a future time to get a before. sense? It feels like yeah, before. Past. And so is this something that you've been doing in other lifetimes, fighting this darkness? Yes, in one, one form or another, yes. Mm-hmm. And so how is it in this lifetime that you're living now that you're here to fight the darkness? Just by sharing my light. Just, just by helping bring the light to, to the earth. Very good. And so as more light begins to pour into the earth. How is things, how are things going to change once this darkness is gone? What will we notice? We'll feel a lot lighter, more natural, brighter, peace. And so what is it going to take other than sharing our light to completely rid this planet of the darkness. What else do we need to know about that? We have to join together, unify. We can't do it as individuals on our own. And so he wants to know what the world will look like, what the earth will look like after the shift. What can you tell him about that? Feels like people are coming together, working together. They're kind of living in groups, looking after each other. Most are going to be like in the country, in the, in the, the wilderness. How does life change? How does it change for those people? It's just easy, peaceful. No one's stressed. No one's overworked, just happy and joyful. Beautiful. And what will his life look like after the shift? What will he notice? I'll be helping, helping build communities, helping heal people, helping to kind of organize and set up, set up the, the groups, kind of overseeing things. Very good. And so he wanted to know what his mission and purpose after the shift is, other than what you've just shared. What else will he be doing? Just living a peaceful life. Just help, helping the earth recover, helping people. Very good. And you said um, he'll be doing some healing work as well. Anything else you can share with him about that? time comes it'll be be very obvious what to do what they need to prepare or practice or just kind of happen very good very good and he wants to know is there anything that he should be doing now to prepare for this shift what does he need to know Just keep anchoring the light into the earth. Try to relax, go into nature, meditate in nature. Just allow allow things to happen. Just kind of allow the flow, the unfolding. Very good. And this... This warrior lifetime that we looked at where he's battling the beasts and demons, what else is important for him to know about that lifetime? 
after the battle, it's it's okay to be to be peaceful and loving afterwards. Doesn't the battle doesn't have to define who you are. It's just learning. It's just lessons. It's not who you are. Very good. And he said he's wondering what he's doing in the astral when sleeping. He wakes up and feels exhausted. Is he doing any of this battling there or is anything else going on when he sleeps? Yes, battling. I feel like kind of a being of light battling. Anything else you want to share with him about that? We're winning. Mm -hmm. Feels like there might be a big battle left, but we're winning. Tell me about that big battle that's left. What do we need to know about that? Be a unity of, of the light that completes the last battle. That'll end the darkness. Do you get a sense of how that will play out or any information that you can share with us about that? Feels like it's pretty much going to be done in the astral, not so much on the physical. Mm -hmm. Who all is participating or do you get a sense of how many are participating in this battle in the astral? Everyone that's of the light doesn't feel like it's individuals. It feels more like a group or a collective. Very good. And so he wants to know if he's on the right path spiritually or with the work that he's doing. What can you tell him? Yes. Just have to not worry about the, the physical, the physical part of it you take care of the take care of the non-physical the physical will take care of itself you don't get caught up in the the day-to-day -day work and so the work that he's doing how will that transform in the future what does that look like for him I feel like I'll st st still be doing it for a while, but it'll be, be easier. I hope it's complicated, more fulfilling. And then once everything shifts, then everything changes. And do you feel like this shift is going to be a quick shift, something that will happen that we'll notice very quickly, or does it feel more like this is just a gradual shifting? It's gradual for now, and then it'll be quick. It still feels like it's a little ways away. Very good, very good. He wants to know what gifts and abilities that he has and how he can strengthen them. Intuitive, can heal can bring in the light to strength and just need to, you know, get, get out of, get out of my head, just relax more, just allow it to come in. Just trust it. Very good. And what are the life lessons? that he chose to learn in this life? To live in peace. To open and allow people in. To trust. To get my power back. Not let people take it away. Just trust. Very good. So, he had a reading from an energy reading, and she said that she knew him from a future life. What was that that she was connecting in with? What life was that? It was a life in the 
in the future where we didn't we didn't make the shift the dark had won and taken over so we've come back to make sure the light wins this time so how does that work are there multiple endings to this shift that we're in right now have there been multiple endings that have already happened or how can you explain that <laughs> it's all happening at the same time so for this timeline this this timeline we the light wins this is the positive timeline will still be the negative timeline but we're we're in the positive so is it the same people on both of those timelines like is there a version of steve on the positive and a version of steve on the negative or how does that work i feel like i'm just on the positive mm -hmm. it's changing that timeline that for the negative future. And so on this um, future version that she saw, were you a human in that timeline or were you a higher dimensional being? Human. Okay. But in that timeline, the darkness had won. Yes. But it feels like I've come from a higher, higher place into this earth timeline to help the shift. Feels like I've been in this battle before elsewhere. So I know how it goes. Mm. Is that the battle that we looked at or has that been another battle? Another battle. Mm. That, was, that was the earth, the battle on earth. Feels like I've done it on other planets. Very interesting. So what happens to that timeline where the darkness won? Does that timeline just keep existing? Is it always there? It feels like it changes it. Mm. We win now, it changes that future. Does it's happen? like a new branch of the timeline that the dark continues on. I see. Does this happen a lot where we try to shift timelines to have a better outcome? Do, do people or beings do this quite often where they try to change the outcomes of these different timelines? I don't think it happens often. Just, just if there's a reason to or a purpose to it. Only when it's necessary. I see. Very interesting. Very interesting. So anything else he needs to know about how he's connected to this energy reader other than what you shared? We've been battling together since the beginning on this, on the earth, since it started. And we're together in the, the future timeline. Very good. And so once we move through this shift and the darkness is gone, will there continue to be battles between the dark and the light? Is that going to go away for It'll just us? It'll be done. It'll be done. Is that for all of the universe? Is that for everywhere or just us? I feel like it's done, done for the universe. It still continues on, but not, not here. Not for us. Mm, very good. Very good. Very good information. Are there any final messages, anything else that you'd like to bring through or share with him today? Just keep going. We're almost there. Don't give up. And enjoy it. Enjoy the journey. Just enjoy it. Just stay in the now and, and enjoy it. Don't get caught up in what's going to happen in the future. L live your life as you want to now and don't wait for something to happen to, to change, to move forward. Just move forward. 
everything's working out as it should. There's nothing to worry about. The light is winning and will win. Very good. Thank you so much for all of that beautiful and so fascinating information that you shared with us today.